In this three-part series, we look into a rare genetic condition called ataxia telangiectasia. He's got um, 80. He may not live till 30. By the time he's 9, 10, he'll be in a wheelchair. He's going to need constant care. As the children get older, there are different challenges for the family and for the person, the teenager. Alicia is 16 years old and has AT. As the children get older and they're living a longer and healthier quality of life now than they were with AT, there are different challenges for the family and, and for the person, the teenager. As your child gets older, actually everything's getting harder for them. You know, going to school, friendship groups, being able to perhaps get a job. But at this age, at the moment, it's, it's quite a difficult time for her, I think. And she's in an electric wheelchair, so all the doorways have been widened. She had a shower room done, a wet room, so she can bathe easily. Still not completely independently, but it's more comfortable, it's less energetic for her. The main thing probably is the amount of help she actually needs. The hardest thing, I suppose, is when she says, can you help me? And you say, hold on a minute, and sometimes I think, I must never do that, because to always have to ask must be so irritating. She likes to choose her own clothes out of her wardrobe, so we made her a wardrobe that she could access easily. She can reach everything. Sometimes she'll ask for help, but on the whole, she can access everything in her wardrobe. So it made her just feel normal, really. Alicia likes to do her own thing like any other teenager, so her desk is designed specifically for her wheelchair. I like going shopping, having massages, I like to go to concerts and going out with dinner. I think we've learnt to accept it for what it is, know that we can't change everything, to give Alicia a better quality of life, keep her as healthy as we can with the condition that she's got. Alicia certainly liked all things girly, from makeup to a very large wardrobe. With this condition, what can Alicia's future hold? The research taking place may give her a chance to live a longer and fuller life. I've met AT patients who've gone on to high school and university, so I think there's no reason to think that AT patients uh, are unable to learn effectively. The life expectancy of AT patients is gradually improving. My hope is that out of research in my lab and other labs, we might come up with new approaches that could dramatically extend the life expectancy. That's certainly my hope. Alicia is looking into doing a hospitality course at college in September. Even though she has AT, Alicia isn't letting it affect her plans for the future. You don't know what's coming around the corner um, and somehow you deal with it.